Specialized Medicine and Universal Healthcare. This is the Tea Party counter protest against socialized medicine. sign for I brought the sign out that's all I did okay but this side is for the individuals that are against whatever yeah. the, pro, uh, yes, the I, other one I'm is. for liberty oh uh, you're pro uh, what do you I'm pro I, I don't know I'm asking you this is really the pro health care rally the pro liberty pro health care rally and the government usually messes up everything else that they control I do not want them I want politicians out of my health care let's leave that between me and my doctor Oh gosh, there's so many. Uh, I think what do we want? Oh, no, what do we want it now? Oh, oh, get government oh, out get of healthcare. Look at the VA. The VA system oh, is guitar, a great Mr. example of how our government's healthcare is shot completely. Ask any military member. You know what your name is and what's your why you're here today? My name is Thomas Kerwin Prigmore, and I'm a disabled veteran of the United States Air Force. And the reason that I decided to come this afternoon is because there are two of my siblings who are no longer on the planet because of government-run health care. Have you ever been to the DMV? Can you imagine going to a place like the DMV for your health care? Not, not at all efficient, extremely expensive. And, and that's basically it. it. If it doesn't really make sense to think that putting... Uh, our healthcare needs in the hands of bureaucracy is a good idea, then it's probably not a good idea. that healthcare is the 800 pound gorilla that's ready to ambush American society if we don't do something about it. But the federal government is the organization that got us into this trouble. They're not going to be the ones that get us out of it. There are other alternatives. Let's explore them first before we go into further debt to gain absolutely nothing. Thank you. Your science and stuff. Well, the shackle spells out government. Okay. And, my, and big government is shackling me with healthcare and debt and also are suspending that we can't afford. If, health, if Medicare is going to be insolvent and Social Security is going to be insolvent, I do not think they can manage a universal health care system. Elizabeth Lucero died from primary sclerosing cholangitis on March 6, 2006. She was 41 years old. She needed a liver transplant. She waited on the med list for four years. There's no excuse for that. She should have been given a liver way before anybody like Mickey Mantle, who died from cirrhosis of the liver and got a liver. I have a daughter that was just recently in rehab, and she's stressed about going in, how much was the insurance going to pay, was it going to pay for three days, seven days, ten days, twenty days. And I advised her, just go in, pay for it yourself and not worry about the insurance, get the benefit out of it that you need to do. Don't make your health care decision based on insurance. Make it on what you need. And after she was in there for about 10 days, she called me, she said, Mom, that was terrific advice. She said, you got two kinds of people walking around inside this rehab. Those that say, my insurance is only going to cover me till Friday, so why should I bother going to class? Why should I bother trying to improve myself? 
so they have no dedication to being met. And the other kind are so concerned with, oh, my insurance only approved it for two more days. What am I going to do then? Are they, and they're just worrying, worrying, worrying. And again, they're not getting the help that they went in there to get. So she's out yesterday, and she's just so thankful that she did not use insurance. Obama and his minions of socialists want to come about and force socialized health care on this country. It's wrong. People will die. People have already died. Do not listen to the lies. Thank you very much. Freedom! 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 Freedom!